You know, I've done thousands of interviews in the time I've been producing television, and I can't remember when I enjoyed an interview more than talking with the gentleman you're about to meet. Mitchell Toll is not only a very talented artist, but he's also an author. This charming book about a young boy who wants to become a farmer is well-crafted and beautifully illustrated. Let's take a look at Mitchell Toll's most wonderful dream. Waking up in the morning light The sun burns away the night I know everything will be alright Cause you'll lay him by my side Oh, oh, oh It's one of those good days So I'm 67 years old I say that with a wonderful smile on my face uh, I think that I prepared my whole life to do this project that I was asked to do by Farm Bureau, the book called The Wonderful Dream, a book designed to help children value hard work, not just mental work, but physical work, but also to appreciate the nobility of the work of farmers. So this book does that. And so in this process, uh, I uh, ended up developing this character. He is a bright kid, a, a passionate student, uh, uh, all of his life, everybody knows he's destined uh, to really be somebody. And so when we have children like that, we don't say, hey, wow, you're really smart. You want to grow up and be a farmer? We say, hey, you're going to be a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer. You're going to do something really meaningful with your life. And I realize uh, what a mistake we've made as big people as somehow saying mental work has dignity, but we're not sure if, if physical work has dignity. I began to contemplate the nobility of farming and the grand importance of that you got to convey all of that so anyhow as I'm contemplating all that I really in, in, in the final conclusion rather than having this kid going to his grandpa's farm where his grandfather's constantly giving him lectures about how somebody's gonna have to grow up and be a farmer uh, this kid is the one getting it and talking to everyone around him and saying you know, this is important work. What granddad does is, so, and who's going to take his place? And by the time you get to the end of the story, he and his best friend, a little girl named Addie, are saying, we'll do it. We'll do it. We are going to do it. And so then, visually, everything that is Kentucky Farms drips its way through the book with the, with the paintings. And, and you get to meet uh, Addie and Billy as well. First of all, I really, uh, I'm touched by this, but I really hope that they will understand first that labor, both mental and physical, has dignity. As I hope that they recognize that, that they're put on this earth to actually make a difference, not just to have fun, but their whole life is before them. And it won't be easy. One of the phrases in the book that Billy is actually saying, he's talking to everybody, he's not lecturing, but he's saying, hey, you know, what we're going to be doing is not easy. It's like whenever you see a baby chick pecking its way out of an egg. It's not easy, but in the end, it's worth it because life is on the other side of the egg. And so for us, we gotta go to school, we gotta make the grades, we gotta learn to love to read, we gotta apply ourselves because we're gonna make the world a better place. And so he's kinda getting this. And that's what I hope kids will get, that school is not this discipline thing that they're forced into, it's a part of the journey. It's a part of pecking your way out of the egg. And on the other side, you can be a difference maker like granddad. And so I hope, I hope in the end they get it. And uh, that's it. If, if somehow the fact that my dream let me make this book and Farm Bureau opened this door of opportunity so I could, could walk into some child's life so they walk away and say, I'm going to the moon. I'm going to be the president. I'm going to study harder than I was yesterday. I'm going to go to college and pay the price. What you and I know at this point in our life is that it takes a lot of payments to have a dream home. It takes a lot of tests and a lot of annoying professors to get the PhD. It takes a lot of work to peck your way out of the egg. If I could inspire a kid to peck his way out of the egg, or just tell me he or she's going to, that'd be the greatest compliment. Oh no, Grandma answered, that horse is so big and so tall. Granddad interrupted. You could have said, so old and so slow, he said.